Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today, um, a very quick video just to show you a little utility um, that's available in Comfy UI Manager called Badges. So let's just quickly go across to my workflow and we'll run through that. Okay, so looking at this um, crazy workflow here, we have a bunch of nodes that I have installed on my Comfy UI. Um, as a collection, they, they are meaningless, they're not joined together, they don't, um, they don't do anything as they are. Um, but they're all installed from um, different node collections and by different um, node developers. And identifying them can sometimes be a bit of a problem, but we can, uh, we can look at badges in Comfy UI Manager to help identify what these things are. So let's just quickly do that. So if I come across to our Comfy UI uh, menu here and click on Manager, let that open up. And on the left hand uh, row of options here, if we come down to the fourth one, we have this drop down, um, which is badges. So with badges, I think we have about five different um, selections that we can make. And we are on, currently we're on the first one, which is none. So there are no badges at the moment applied um, to this workflow. So if we come down to the second one, which is nickname, well, uh, you can see now that each of the nodes um, have been given um, their nickname, which was, uh, I assume, added by the developers at the time that they were put into Comfy UI. However, um, that said, if you look across on these two here on the left um, hand side, these are built in nodes. Um, you don't, they don't have nicknames because they are part of the default setup for Comfy UI. So they don't need it. You will always be able to find these nodes. However, the remaining nodes are all parts of set that sets that you've, you've installed and can be here one day, gone the next, depending on whether or not you, you find installed them or not. So that's nickname. Let's come back now and take the next drop down. So the next option is the same, but it's removing any reference to the built in nodes as we just saw. Um, so it looks pretty much the same. We've got the nicknames. These nicknames here are very useful. Um, if you want to, if you've seen these on somebody else's work and you think, oh, I, I wouldn't mind that. So for instance, over here, we've got the SD prompt reader. If you type these um, words into your install custom node search button, you will find these nodes. So each of these titles are very useful for locating um, nodes that you might want to install, particularly if you're watching YouTubes and seeing other people's work, if they've got these things switched on. So they're helpful for that. Okay, just quickly run down um, this list. So the next one, is quite similar, but it's been given a hash and a number. Absolutely no idea what that does, what the function of that. I did try researching it. I couldn't find anything on it. Next one down is the same, but it, again, it hides the built in and that's pretty much it. So these things can be useful. The only thing I forgot to mention is if we come back up to, um, let's go to nickname is on the default um, nodes with the exception of the note node which comes under utilities it gives you a little little tulip or a little flower here or whatever it is and I'm, I'm guessing that's to signify that this is a default uh, node so that's about it really can be useful um, I would recommend the nickname hide built-in um, because the built-in ones are always there you don't need to really need to uh, bother about their names and uh, yeah, that's it. So short and sweet. Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day and goodbye.